This is a video tour of Sullivan on Comp for individual subscribers. Start at the home page and click the subscriber login button. Enter your credentials. If you don't know your password, click the forgot password link. Use the same email address you used to sign up with and email me a reset link. In this case, we know our credentials. We log in. Bookmark this page for future logins. When you first log in, this table of contents is the home page for Sullivan on Comp. It shows the sections of the content. And let's take a look. There are three levels of hierarchy in Sullivan on Comp. The uh, main table of contents, the chapter table of contents, and then the individual section pages. You'll see on each page you've got information uh, that is extensively footnoted. So if you ever want to view a footnote, click on the link. It takes you to the bottom of the page where you can read the details and then click the uplink to go back to the place in the text where you originated. If you want to navigate to the next section in the content, you can. And you'll notice that uh, from time to time we see skips that occur. You see how it went from 510 to 515? That's because there are sections reserved for future use. So those sequential previous and next buttons take you to the next section where content exists. When you're on the chapter table of contents, if you want to go back to the main, you can navigate up from there. And if you're on a chapter page, these previous and next buttons take you to the next chapter. There are three main ways to find information in Solvent on Comp. The first is the table of contents itself. For most workers' compensation practitioners, this will likely be the fastest way to find the information you're looking for. It assumes you're familiar with the general topic areas and you can't kind of just drill down to the thing that you're trying to discern. Uh, the second method, of course, is search. You can look for information by topic. Uh, you can uh, look for uh, parties and cases that you're perhaps looking for. Or you can also search using a citation if you have one in front of you. And instances uh, where the citation is used uh, will appear. We include citations for all the cases referenced in the text of Solvent on Comp in the footnotes, so that makes it an easy way to search for things. You can also search for uh, code sections, and uh, for example, labor codes, uh, we use the convention of prefixing every labor code citation with LC. Uh, we use the, the citations for the regs, CCR, 9780, for example, and so forth. The third method to find information in Solvent on Comp is the index, and this is a standard legal index. It works particularly well with topics that have lots of uh, different angles. Uh, so, for example, let's look up statutes of limitation. Maybe we think a statute might apply, but we're not sure what the range of options are and when they're applicable. We can look at different options. This can help you uh, zone in on the particular topic you want to cover. Now, one thing that's really useful to know when working with Sullivan on Comp is that in any browser, if you want to search on a page that has text on it, uh, enter Control F in Windows or Command F in Mac, and it brings up the browser's search function, which will search on that page. And that works on the, uh, the treatise pages as well. The next primary section of Sullivan on Comp is the webinar section. We have over 70 hours of uh, continuing education and MCLE and workers' comp legal specialization credits available on this page. You'll see the courses are organized into uh, a few sections. Uh, the one at the top here is the most recent course, or if there is a course upcoming in the future, that would be featured here. Beneath that are courses that I as a user have started to view but didn't complete. You can see I can resume the course. Or the third section here are courses that I've completed. 
for those courses I have completed, I can download the certificate. Or if I want to download all the certificates I've earned, I can press this button to download all. I get a zip file. And then finally, the last section are courses uh, that I haven't started to view. These are all the other courses. And they're listed uh, sequentially based on when they're recorded. Solvent on Comp features a 90-minute live webinar on a quarterly basis that is also posted to the site as a recording after it's been completed. And we additionally post a monthly case law update, which is uh, half an hour in length. On any course, when you view the specific course page, you see the, uh, the recording interface and a progress bar. You can come and go returning to this page until you've completed the webinar. After you've viewed a webinar to completion, you will see on the page itself, in addition to the certificate appearing on that webinar's homepage, you'll see on the page itself you can download the certificate. If you viewed a course to completion and you're not seeing a certificate where you expect to receive it, press F5 to refresh the page and that uh, certificate should appear. The next section of Solvent on Comp are the calculators. I'm going to give you a very quick overview because we also have videos that go into deeper dive on the specific calculator topics. But for this video, I'll mention that uh, we have 17 different calculators. They're organized in groups based on those that are uh, used most frequently. That's, that's what those featured calculators are, including a permanent disability calculator as well as uh, a group of present value calculators, commutation calculators, and then sort of additional utility calculators. I know, for example, penalties on late payment of bills is pretty popular, uh, interest on awards. Uh, when you generate a report in a calculator, you can also choose to save it, although you don't have to. If you've saved a report, it'll appear in this saved reports section and you can return to view any report that you've saved. I'll go into a permanent disability report because this gives us a good example of a completed permanent disability calculator. You see it's got uh, places to enter the various impairments and the resulting rating uh, shows you the order those uh, individual impairments are combined, shows you the combined rating and the benefit uh, payout requirements based on the inputs that you provided. The next section of Solvent on Comp are case law updates. Every month we send out a summary of recent changes to the law and the sections of Solvent on Comp that have been updated. This case law update section is an archive of those summaries going all the way back to the beginning of the publication of Solvent on Comp. So you can browse through any of those. They are preserved in their original form, but uh, they link to the always current and updated version of the sections so that you can read the impact of this in the context of the current and updated law. Final section of Sullivan on Comp are commentary articles. Each month we send out to our subscribers a newsletter that includes an article about a current topic, and those articles are archived here in this commentary section. It functions very much like a blog in the way that it's organized. If you have any questions while you're logged into Sullivan on Comp, you can enter this uh, chat box, uh, enter a question in chat. If we're able to respond in real time, we will. Uh, but even if we're not able to respond immediately, we'll forward a reply that you'll get in your inbox because you're logged in and we have your credentials on file. If you're not logged in or you wish to give us a call or send us an email directly, you can find our contact info at the homepage of Solvent on Comp. Go to the bottom of that homepage, see the phone number on the right, or the contact us on the left. There are the email addresses or a, a message form. So we're easy to reach and we're always happy to hear from you.